I had an opportunity uh, by being invited to be, uh, apply to be the director of the first entrepreneurship center at St. John's and St. Ben's. And I was selected for the position, went into it knowing that I was really intrigued with teaching. That worked well for me, and so now I'm, I'm very confident of being able to do it. And students say, yeah, you're really helping me learn. So that's always the key. <laughs> I didn't start teaching until I was 55 and just really wanted to make sure I did it well and learned how to do it. And so it's been so much fun for me because what I try and do is to help students take these business tools and modify them so it fits with their social passion and help them be able to take advantage of that business knowledge uh, to be able to make progress. I think that's also why I like teaching startup is, you know, starting, starting things is where all the high energy is. And if you can figure out how to get people the tools they need to endure those first few years, um, then you've got success and hopefully better solutions. The thing that I love is when people say, what you just taught me makes me realize that what I had been working on has a, has a potential. With entrepreneurship, you really have to use it and apply it and make it your own. And so when students say, I get this now, here's how I'm using it, that's what the reward is for me. I just get hooked on their enthusiasm and passion and I know that I've got some tools that will really help them be able to be successful quicker. And it just, that's what compels me. And many of the social entrepreneurs I work with are also working on issues that I've been uh, tr struggling to figure out new solutions for most of my career. So I was surprised and honored when you <laughs> said, you're getting this award. And because I've always been aspiring to be identified as a real instructor of merit, that getting the award like that was like, oh, I got it, I'm there. The biggest change is students believe that we can make the world a better place and they're more willing to try things. And those two things together, I think, have created a generation of people that are, that are bringing their ideas to that solution. I always ask people what's closest to your heart. You know, what is it that makes you say, oh, I don't like that, that's gotta change. Stick with that because that's the motivation you're gonna need to get going.